Hey y'all, welcome to my first video. I am so excited to be bringing y'all my first video ever. And y'all, like, I'm about to show y'all how I melt my waist. You guys will be getting the whole nine yards. How I bleach it, how I pluck it, how I install it. Yeah, so like, I'm leaving nothing out. So let's get right into the sleigh. First, you're gonna need some 4D volume developer. I lost the cap to my other bottle, so I had to put it in a color charm bottle, but it's 4D volume developer. You're gonna need BW2 powder, a mixing bowl, and something to mix it. Excuse my my mess, and excuse my black nails, y'all. I was dying some jet black hair, and y'all already know how that goes. So you're gonna mix it all together until you get a smooth texture. Y'all don't want it to be lumpy, bumpy. Keep going until that texture is smooth like butter. So now it's time to put our mixture on our lace. You guys can see that this is some beautiful kinky curly hair that I got from AliExpress. I will have the link in the description box below. So now it's time to apply our mixture to our lace. And during this process, you have to be very vigilant. I cannot stress this enough to y'all. Unless you guys want blonde hair. If you don't want blonde hair, then please watch your lace, y'all. Watch your lace. You want to make sure that you get the knots that you desire, but you don't want it to be blonde. So yes, our goal is to not have black knots, but our goal is not to have blonde knots. So you apply our mixture all over our lace, and you just wait until your knots are bleached. And I didn't record this part, but I did wash my wig. I shampooed, conditioned it, and you know, did all that fun stuff off camera because I didn't really see the point but if you guys want to see this whole bleaching process in more detail just let me know in the comment section below but when it comes to plucking I don't like to over pluck my curly hair because I feel like curly hair sheds regardless so what's the point of you know over plucking it if it's going to shed so I used Arrogance Hayes amazing method of when he puts a white towel on the bottom of the lace and then the lace on top and I feel as if like this is key to actually like seeing your actual work and seeing the progression of you plucking. I feel like when I wasn't using the white towel, I didn't get to really see what was actually going on. So I feel as if like this was very helpful for me at least. So the rest of the video is sped up and it's because I didn't want y'all watching a 30 minute long video. Whatever section y'all want more detail in, just let me know in the comment section. And I will make a more detailed video in that, of that section. So if y'all want a detailed video in plucking, I got y'all. If y'all want a detailed video in bleaching, I got y'all. But with this process, make sure you guys take your time to pluck. You're not in a hurry. You're not in a rush. You don't want bald spots. Me personally, I didn't over pluck because I knew it was curly hair. And y'all, I got this wig a long time ago. And I was like, you know what? Let me just put it on. So, yeah, I didn't really pluck it too much like I said. But I also took my time. So please make sure you take your time with plucking. The rest of this process, I'm just plucking, plucking, and plucking until I get the desired hairline that I want. So y'all could just enjoy the video and I will meet y'all when I am doing my Bokai method. Now we're getting into the ball cam method. I don't want to hear Pim in the comments about my hair. I cut my hair recently, so yeah, like that's what it's giving. So yeah, you're gonna cut your air taps out, and this is just gonna ensure that your ears are free. They're not, you know, they're not held back or whatever. You can know, all put the hair behind your ear. Yeah, like so you can act like the hair's yours pretty much, because it is yours. That's your natural hair. It's coming from scalp. So y'all know how we all love Erica J, but Erica J is not expensive. Of course, I use Erica J on clients and on myself as well. But when it comes to laying my ball cap, I'm gonna use Ghost Bomb because who's gonna use Erica J to lay your like? Who's gonna do that? I'm not gonna do that. So I go in with Ghost Bomb and I pretty much put it around the perimeter of my head. And as you guys can see, that's what I am currently doing. I'm just putting it 
around the perimeter of my head so this video is kind of like a watch and learn as well so you guys can obviously see how I am doing it and then I'm gonna go in with um, a comb and pretty much spread that out so you guys can watch how I do that process Then I go on my blow dryer to ensure that the cap is dry and the glue is dried up because you don't want it to be, you know, so sticky. Then I put my makeup. I tend to go with foundation. Um, so I used, I think, like the Becca foundation for this process, but it doesn't really matter. Honestly, you can mix foundation with concealer. Just find your shade. And then I put that all over my wig cap. And as you guys can see, it's the perfect color. Obviously, I have makeup on, but it's the perfect color um, without makeup as well. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Then you're also going to put makeup on your actual wig lace, the bottom of the lace. And a little bit on the top and y'all filming this video was so hard like y'all my setup was so like ghetto so like honestly like this was such a challenge for me and I'm glad I was able to record stuff but certain things were just so hard to record like for example cutting the flipping lace so with the wig cap cutting this whole part was so hard because it's just like I'm trying to show y'all yet like it, it's just complicated so as you guys can see, I'm just cutting along the pathway of the glue that I put on earlier. And as y'all can see in that last clip, how I just messed up, like y'all, I really was dedicated for this video because it was actually hard filming. But um, I'm just going in, cleaning it up, doing, you know, what I need to do to, you know, ensure that I have a good ball cap. I do this thing where I get some ghost bond and I go around my ball cap just to make sure that my my ball cap looks good and there's nothing like you know coming out and it's flat all that fun stuff so that's what I'm doing right now as you guys can see y'all honestly with this part I was so irritated because of the whole recording thing but I got it to work I got it to work so it's not a big deal but yeah, I'm just going in with some glue and laying those parts that are, you know, sticking out and then putting some makeup on it. Honestly, I'm just really trying to get this ball cap to be ball capping. Like, it, it was really not doing what I needed to do at this point because my setup was not it. But yeah, that's pretty much what I am doing. So then I put some alcohol right below um, the lace or right below the ball cap and this is just going to clear all the oil or anything that can you know increase the chances of your lace lifting pretty much. So I just put some alcohol around. Then I go in with skin protectant and this is just going to protect your skin from any type of you know chemicals or it's gonna protect your skin from the glue because you know like we want our skin still looking good after the wig is off so I just do this to just ensure that you know you know my skin is nice after I take off my wig I do recommend this because I know a lot of people do react to certain glues and this can help with that you know for the part that y'all all have been waiting for now I'm gonna show y'all how I put on my wig and honestly I like to size my wig prior to like put on the glue and all that because I just feel as if like 
it's just a good guideline to see like what you're doing and also like maybe you want to cover a little bit more forehead like you don't know so I just do this to just ensure that everything fits well and I kind of know like okay girl this is what you're about to do so that's why I put on my wig and y'all got makeup on my wig and I did not pre this until after this video so yeah it's makeup so next I went in with like three to four layers of Erica J's watermelon adhesive y'all I love Erica J's glue I feel like her glue always gets me right period and it's very good with, when it comes to longevity like your wig will stay on with Erica J. So I highly recommend her glue. But I go about three to four layers of her glue and yeah y'all can just watch me um, do that process. So after I am done doing all my layers, I go on the blow dryer because you want it to dry clear at this point. Like you don't want any thick residue or any of that stuff. So that's what I'm doing right now. And then I'm going to put on my wig as I'm doing right now. And then I'm going to go in with the comb and kind of just like push it back. Like y'all are going to see what I mean by that. And this is just going to ensure that like it's, you know, stuck on and that you know the wig's not going nowhere so I just do this process all around the wig so then you're going to use an elastic band to melt the lace and y'all this is like the key to all of this melting pee like if you don't have an elastic band then I don't know what you're doing so get yourself an elastic band and um, just tie it around where your glue is at and honestly like leave it on there for a bit and <laughs> perfection baby it's gonna melt your lace so this is a key y'all so now I took the band off and now it's time to cut your lace so you want to start off by cutting your air tabs out um, like I said so you can have the full effect and then um, as you guys are gonna see in the video I just like cut it into pieces because I like to work like I don't want to just cut all at once so I cut into like smaller pieces so you know it's easier to like you know stay clean and not mess up and you're just gonna cut like wherever the glue stops at so wherever you place the glue is where you're going to cut at so you guys can watch me do that also as you guys can see I am NOT cutting in a straight line I'm kind of moving as I cut um, so yeah just pay attention to how I am cutting the lace Then you're gonna go in and fix spots that are like lifting, but you wanna go in with the same amount of glue, the same amount of layers that you did in the beginning, and then put your elastic band on and watch this melt happen. Y'all, please, please get into the melt. Like, actually savor it, digest it, cause it's actually like, it's, it's giving, it's giving everything. Like, yes girl, yes, you look good, you're fine. We love to see it. Yes. So, y'all, for the rest of this video, I was just going to watch me style my wig. And it's kind of just like a watch and see what I'm doing. Like, for example, in this part, I got my wax stick, y'all. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to tame this hair because, honestly, I don't know if it was being me or, like, I don't know. Like, at one point, I felt like the hair was beating me up because it was just a lot, honestly. I never really had kinky, curly hair, so... It was very, it was very everywhere. It was, it was a lot. But like in detail of what I did, I pretty much got a tweezer and I plucked my part to be like more visible. Um, like I said, y'all, this is my first video, so please, please bear with me. And like, like I said, if y'all want more detailed things, just put it in the description box. I was really contemplating putting the baby hair section in my video. Y'all, just like how baby hairs is a struggle for you, it was a struggle for me because of my setup and how things were going but honestly what you want to do is you want to cut out a section a little section and you want to swoop it I like to use gel um, you can use got to be spray sometimes I use got to be spray as well if I want the fluffy effect thing that could help y'all with styling baby hairs is getting a flat iron 
and like you know curling it so it can like sit better I didn't do that but you could do that as well so honestly I'm just like trying to perfect it as you guys can see in the video like I'm trying different things I'm doing different things until I get the baby hairs that I desire then I put the wrap around my baby hairs and this really helped you know you know set my baby hairs and make it look really good and honestly they didn't move but like I said if y'all want the fluffy if y'all want the fluffy effect then I would use got to be spray instead of gel but yeah that's what I did and now I'm just going back in with my hot comb y'all be hot combing the heck out of my hair as y'all can see like I want it flat I want it flat we don't do bumpy wigs over here so make sure you have a hot comb so after this I just styled my hair and then I wet it and that's all for this video thank you so much for watching my first youtube video i hope you guys subscribe y'all like y'all comment because i have so much more in store and i'm so honored and grateful for y'all supporting me and yeah it's only up from here period so yeah thank you guys